Hi guys, in the following video I'm going to show you how to install and use your new Flowlight plugin. Uh, so first thing you'll want to do is uh, go over to uh, WordPress, log in, and then click on plugins, and then go up to the top and add new. Then you'll want to upload the plugin and choose the file. And whenever you uh, have downloaded your uh, Lightroom, you'll receive a, a folder and it will be a zip file with, with two items inside it. So it should be called uh, Flow uh, Lightroom. Uh, let's see, yeah, Flow LR. And inside it, there should be two more zip files. One is a Flow Lightroom zip, one is a Lightroom plugin master zip, which you need to unzip to upload to Lightroom. Um, but one we want to select now is the WP.zip, so Flow Lightroom WP zip. And select open and install. And then you'll want to activate the plugin. So now we've activated the plugin, you'll want to go to settings. Flow LR WordPress Sync and go to there. And then you'll want to generate a token and that'll generate an access key. You'll want to copy and paste that uh, and save it for later as you're going to need it for Lightroom so that the two can communicate with each other. And just hit save changes. So now that you've generated your access key, you'll want to head over to the Lightroom. So if you can load up your Lightroom and go to File, Plugin Manager, and then here you will want to add the extension for the Flow Light plugin. So go to Add, uh, go to your Flow Lightroom uh, folder, uh, then you will have a Lightroom plugin master zip that should be unzipped and open the Lightroom Plugin Master folder and inside you'll get LR, LR Dev Plugin. So go to this folder and then click Add Plugin. Now you'll see that that has added flow themes to uh, your plugin manager. You'll want to click Done. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll have all the publishing services. So you'll want to go to Flow Themes and then you'll want to click Setup. And in here, you will have all the details that you'll need for Lightroom Publishing Manager. So go to uh, the publishing service. It will already have a description of flow themes. You can add that. Uh, you'll want to add your WordPress account details. So your username, your password, and the URL for your blog. So I'm going to use uh, the one I was using earlier. And you'll want to add the access key. So the access key will be the access key that you generated in your WordPress account. So let's just add that. And there you go. Um, so that should be all the details you need. Once you have added all those details, uh, you can then click save. And from here, then we'll be able to upload uh, the images whenever we create some collections and we can upload them directly into WordPress. Now that we've connected our Lightroom plugin to uh, Lightroom, um, we should be able to upload. Uh, just a quick note, whenever you're uh, adding the uh, address for your website, please copy and paste it from the browser as you'll want to have HTTP in there, otherwise it will not uh, it will not say it uh, correctly as a web address. So please make sure to do that when, when adding the website information um, when configuring this plugin. So now you'll want to uh, upload a, a new gallery or blog post. Uh, you'll want to head to Flow Themes and Published Services, and you'll want to right click and create published collection. Uh, once you do that, you'll see that there's a nice pop-up window. Uh, you can then uh, name the published collection. So I'm going to name this my new collection. Uh, I'm going to make a gallery post. And uh, 
This uh, is only specific for Flutheims users and it will pull in the thumbnails from your theme. So it is theme specific. Uh, each theme has different uh, gallery layouts. So um, you can just choose whatever options are in your gallery. So I'm gonna just use the slick slider for now. I'm gonna to go to create. And I've only added one image. So I wanna add some other images here. So I'm just gonna come here and grab some images. Um, and then I'm going to drag them into my collection. So I now have uh, seven images in my new collection. So you'll want to go to your published collection. Uh, you can see that we have uh, added now seven uh, images or eight images to your published collection. Uh, and then you'll just want to hit publish. And this will publish it directly to your WordPress account. So we'll head over to WordPress and uh, we'll go to galleries and we'll just refresh this. And here you can see that it's a draft. It's still publishing in the back end. Uh, once it's completed, uh, you can refresh once more and it should be um, a published collection. So you'll see that we've published a new collection. Uh, we'll head over to the portfolio page. And I just refreshed it. And you'll see that my new collection is added. Um, we've also got auto select featured image. So that is uh, showing the featured image automatically. And uh, your new collection will uh, publish just as you added the images. So you can see that it went into the selected option, uh, gallery visible nearby. Another great op feature is uh, that you can reorder your gallery. So right now our images are in a certain order in the attached images section. You can update that in Lightroom so you, you never have to go into WordPress to update it if you want. So, so I'm going to move my images into a different order. As you can see, I'm just dropping and dragging. I'll move this first and then I'll republish. And then I can refresh my gallery post. And you'll see that the gallery images have been reordered to be the same as what we have in Lightroom. So that's great. Um, you can do that for any uh, gallery. Um, the galleries can all be that can be changed at any time, so you can edit the published collection if required, and uh, you can uh, you can then ch uh, choose a different gallery type, as you can see here. Uh, you can choose a different layout if you want. Um, that can all be done in Lightroom. Uh, you can also do that in WordPress if you really want. You can just go into uh, your gallery view type and change uh, the view type as required. So it can be added in both areas, but uh, really this is to help improve the workflow between Lightroom and WordPress. So uh, you'll probably not want to have to go into WordPress to check this. It is good to go and check your website to make sure it's uploaded correctly, but um, it can be done directly in Lightroom. And next we'll want to add a blog post. So I currently have uh, four blog posts uh, on my page and I'm going to quickly create a blog post as well. So uh, again I'm going to go and create a published collection and I'm going to select blog post and uh, you can ignore the gallery uh, layouts because it's only specific to flow themes galleries and if you have a flow theme. Uh, so just choose blog post uh, you can click create and again you'll want to get your images um, and move your images in. So I'm going to select a few more images uh, and I'm going to move them into my uh, published collection here for my post. So I've added the four images. Next I'll want to publish this. So I'll just click publish. And again this will publish into my, my WordPress site. Now if we go over to posts, You should uh, then see a draft. So it was named Public Collection. And uh, once it's finished here, it updated the published collection. 
uh, you can then refresh the page again and you'll see that it is no longer a draft than it has been published. Okay, that's perfect. And if I go to my blog, you'll see that the new published collection is also available in the blog. So my published collection is here. If you go into the WordPress backend, you'll see that it has been added as a gallery columns. I know this is a short code from WordPress. Uh, you can go on ahead into WordPress, add any text you want uh, in here. Uh, you can also uh, edit the post in WordPress backend, click edit. You can add captions to the images, uh, drag and drop images into place as required. Again, this can be done in, uh, in Lightroom if required. Uh, you can just also choose a number of columns uh, to be updated if, if you want to show them in a nice light box feature. Um, so that, that's really your preference. Uh, you can check those options for yourself. Uh, but that's a really nice way of adding uh, blog posts quickly and also a nice way of adding galleries directly to your WordPress site using the Flow Lightroom plugin.